I want to thank everyone for coming out. Everyone for rallying behind freedom, behind liberty, behind justice, honesty, integrity. We've heard so many solutions today. But without you, they're just empty words. The solutions aren't going to come from any problem, from any collective group, from any position of power. They're going to come from you. You're going to walk away from here and you're going to do something. Whether it's about GMOs that you heard, or it's about monetary reform, or it's about voting with your dollars. Unions aren't going to change anything. Political parties aren't going to change anything. Social organizations, even like we are change as a group, we're not going to change anything. You are the only one that is going to change anything. With your actions, with your words. It's an awesome echo. What is freedom? Is freedom defined by what other people tell you you're free to do? Or is freedom defined by you? By what you're allowed to do? Are you free if somebody else can tell you you can't say no? Is it your property if somebody can force a smart meter on the side of your wall? Is it your wall? Is it your labor and your income when somebody can take 15, 20, 30 percent just for earning it? <coughs> Excuse me. Are they your children if a government agency can come and take them away because of the decisions you've made? Is it your city? when your politicians can dictate where you can put chalk on sidewalk, where you can assemble, where you can exercise your rights to free speech? It's not. We are not free. We may think we are. We've got a long way to go. But through empowered individuals and empowered actions of those said individuals, we will get closer and closer to freedom every day. We are the masters of our own destiny. We are the ones that make our choices. And we're only as free as we let ourselves be. Civil disobedience may, look be, may be looked down upon but people do this every day. Do you follow every law? No. People walk across the street, not on crosswalks. Oh my God, they're not following the law. People get involved in black markets. People get involved in under the table interactions because they are not free. If you were free, you wouldn't have to hide these things. You wouldn't have to worry about some authority coming down on you even though there's no victim, no crime. Most of us behave in completely lawful ways and yet break the law every day. Government has become a cancerous growth on society. It is taking away our liberties and our freedoms with every stroke of the pen, with every new law, with every new, they're not laws, with every new statute, with every new bill, we're a long ways from freedom. But we're going to get there. We may not get there today, tomorrow, but I'll be here next year, and I hope you all will be with me next year and the year after, and the year after. We look to promote individual solutions to all these problems because it's truly the individual that solves all these problems. When we stop buying GMOs, they'll go away. There's no profit 
in making a product that people don't buy. And you can't have a law telling you whether or not you can buy them or you can't buy them. You can't have a law that nobody can control you or how you spend your dollars. Actually, they can. They control you by, they force, by force. They force you to spend your dollars on war. They force you to spend your dollars on imprisonment camps or jails. Same thing. You know, we have the illusion of freedom, and it's great that we're freer than some places. I'm glad I live in Canada. I'm really glad I don't live in communist China or fundamentalist religion-dominated countries either. But just because we're better off than others doesn't mean we need to stop here. We need to keep going. We need to push back. We need to shrink government. We need to take individual responsibility for our actions. We need to think about when we buy something from the store, are we supporting totalitarian regimes? Are there our taxes going to unlawful wars, bombing children in Afghanistan, Libya, Syria? We need to think if our dollars are going to multinational corporations that are poisoning our water, poisoning our food for profit. Profit's not a dirty word. Corporations are the dirty word. Government is the dirty word. Ultimately, we'll only be as free as we let ourselves be. And hopefully, we let ourselves be tremendously free. Thank you. So that concludes our, freedom, our third annual Freedom and Solutions Rally. We'll be here next summer, and the one after that. Find We Are Change online, wearechangevictoria.org. Find our TV show, Freedom Free For All, online, freedomfreeforall.com. Network with the people that have spoken and come here, gathered here. We have so much information up here. Please take some before you go. We have free DVDs free pamphlets, free newspapers that will help you understand the problems and help, help you understand the solutions that we're trying to offer and we're trying to empower you with. So yeah, thank you everyone for freedom. <laughs>